I'm not happy with the body I see looking back at me in the mirror. I've never had to call 200 pounds home before. I don't like taking pictures. It's as if every roll of fat now wants to be in them, but I am learning. The more that I sit with it, sitting would do absolutely nothing to age change, so I move. That's my baby, but as I do, I pack love in my backpack home for the journey, for the hope it took and the woman I'm becoming, this body. This body birthed a sweet baby boy. This body did what it was told it couldn't do. This body be more miracle than mistake, so I want to learn how to love it. I want to learn now, not when I get to a certain point to feel like I deserve it. She deserves it right now, and I, and I am going to give it to her. Although I'm 27, sometimes God talks to me like I'm a toddler breaks down scriptures in a way that I can comprehend them better. I remember being roughly 30 weeks pregnant, instructed by the Holy Spirit to wobble my way into Walmart until I found the jar of mustard seeds on the shelf and held it in my hand. It was as if God said, do you see now? Do you see now how much faith you need to give to me? How something so small can crumble a mountain? How the fear of miscarrying the child I was bearing left me instantly on that aisle is where my faith to see the promise come to pass was birth. I was born again the day I had my baby boy. I was instantly changed and he cried. As he cried, I cried too because someone gave their son for me. How my heart can't fathom giving Zion anything less than my all but it's mind blowing to me. Now how someone gave their son for the whole world and left a door open for us to choose if we love his son back, wow. What happens when mental health is shaken, but I still got a baby to take care of on the daily postpartum depression tried to pull me apart, but I decided to look to the hills which cometh my help so I don't walk around with my head down now like I've been defeated. I remember when his dad stopped helping, when he stopped when I remember when his dad stopped showing up, stopped helping me, and that's the exact moment God introduced himself as Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Now, my toddler throws temper tantrums like he isn't, now my toddler throws temper tantrums like he instantly forgets how good mommy has been to him. Ain't it like human to forget the goodness of God when we don't get our way this time? What about the last time and the time before that? The God I serve is still label. So I pull from the equity of the last miracle. How the baby giving me a headache now is also the same baby I prayed for then. Changing my perspective changes my heart posture, y'all. I remember the first time my son fell and got back up on his own. No longer being rocked to tears. He trusted his own two feet. How had faith that he could fall and get back up again? God whispered to me. I'm not asking you to be perfect. I'm just asking that you get back up and try again because with me, everything in the end will be worth it. I'm working it A-L-L out for your good, not some, but all things. I need you to trust me. Place your mustard seed in front of me and then go back and tell the good news of how it was only God that could have done it for you and helped you through. Sometimes God talks to me like I'm a toddler, but hey, it works for me. Poem.